This is a story about all of us and how we got here. It is a story about atoms and molecules, gravity and stars, imperfect copies, and evolution. Our story starts at the very beginning of time, nearly 14 billion years ago. In the beginning, when it all began, at the very start of time, everything in the universe, all the energy, all the stuff, even space itself, was compressed into a single point smaller than an atom that scientists call a singularity. We call the beginning, when time begins, the Big Bang. That is when the singularity ended and the universe started to expand. Time started. The universe was very hot, but as space expanded, it cooled. As the universe cooled, atoms formed. It all became dark because there were not any stars yet. All the stuff in the universe is made of atoms. There are a little over 100 different types of atoms called elements. Atoms are different because of the number of protons they contain. An atom of hydrogen has one proton and a helium atom has two protons. An atom of carbon has six protons. We find carbon in coal and in diamonds. Atoms can stick together to form other things. When atoms stick together, we call it a molecule. When two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen stick together, they make a molecule of water. Therefore, the elements of water are hydrogen and oxygen. Even with all the energy of the Big Bang, there were not any atoms with more than four protons in the early universe. As the space expanded, there were clumps of hydrogen atoms that gravity pulled together. Gravity is the force that holds us to the Earth and makes things fall. The more stuff there is, the more that gravity holds it together. When there was enough hydrogen, gravity was so strong that it squeezed the hydrogen atoms together so tight that the two hydrogen atoms made a new helium atom. When that happens, when two hydrogen atoms form a helium atom, it gives off light. This is what stars are, tight balls of hydrogen that gravity squeezes together so that the hydrogen starts to make helium. This took about 300 million years from the beginning of the universe for the first stars to light up. As stars get older, there is no more hydrogen, and then gravity starts to squeeze the helium atoms to form heavier elements. And then gravity squeezes these atoms to make even heavier elements. Eventually, there are no more new elements that gravity can make. If the star is the right size, it will blow up in what scientists call a supernova. Then, the explosion will create even heavier elements. Sometimes, when a new star is forming, it'll attract the dust of older stars that have already gone supernova. This ring of dust may form planets around a star. We call the star and the planets around it a solar system. Our planet, the Earth, formed from the dust of older stars at about the same time our Sun formed, about four and a half billion years ago. The young Earth was hot with many volcanoes. Asteroids, which are rock, and comets, which are mostly ice, fell on the Earth. After a while, the Earth cooled and large oceans formed. The air was much different than today. The large oceans with the heat and molecules from underwater volcanoes allowed complex molecules to emerge. Eventually, a large molecule formed that could copy itself. The molecule had a shape like a twisted zipper. It could split in half just like unzipping a zipper. And each half would fill in the other half and it would be able to split again. But the copies weren't always perfect copies. Sometimes there were slight differences. If the new, slightly different version was better at creating copies, then the new version would end up having more copies. When molecules work together, they could be even better at creating copies. These groups of large molecules working together are called cells. A cell can divide into two and make new cells. It is because the new cells weren't always perfect copies that new, different capabilities emerged. Sometimes the differences would make the cell much better at creating copies. 
One big change was when a cell emerged that could turn the energy of sunlight into chemical energy. After many generations and many changes, the ability to turn sunlight into chemical energy would become part of the first plants. Cells had a big effect on the earth. They changed the air to the type of air we breathe today. This helped create a protective layer which filters out a harmful type of sunlight. After cells had changed the air into the type of air we have today, it became possible for life forms with more than one cell to emerge. But no matter how big the animal or how many cells it has, it always starts as a single cell and that cell grows and divides. When a large animal starts with a single cell and the cells divide, each new cell divides and specializes to become part of the different features like eyes and fingers or paws and ears. Over time, small changes from one generation to the next add up to very large differences. Evolution is when these small changes over thousands of generations and thousands of years lead to entirely different animals. This is how eventually the first people evolved from other animals. Each stage in our evolution took thousands of generations. And then it took thousands of years for us to begin to figure out this story. The first humans did not know how to plant seeds to grow food. Instead, they wandered, gathering plants and hunting animals for food. When our ancestors learned how to plant seeds to grow food, it meant more people could stay in one place and build buildings. As our ancestors became better at growing food, it meant that some people could learn how to make better tools or become really good at knowing which plants might make someone feel better. Better tools meant we could learn even more about how things work. Our ancestors then invented ways to study and learn even faster. We call this way of studying and describing the world science. It is because of science that we can make phones, televisions, computers, and spaceships. We can now help make sick people healthy. We can continue to develop our knowledge and understanding of the details. Each sentence in this story is a whole branch of science. Learning increases our ability to discover even more. It is because of science that we know this story. We come from the dust of stars and we are related to all life.